And you know what? Uh, are you a fan of Star Wars? I don't know if we ever talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I am. Oh, are you? Are you going to go see it tonight, Aaron? Not tonight, but eventually I will. Um, okay. Yeah, 43 years in the making, though. It's kind of crazy. The history that's wrapping up, it's coming to an end with this film. I was trying to see if that was Baby Yoda behind you or not. No, it's just a snowman. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Frosty. All right, well, keep, keep an eye out if you find him out there. I will, you, I right? will. No relation to Baby Yoda. Yeah, temperatures outside right now much warmer than where they were 24 hours ago. So we're heading in the right direction after a frigid day on Wednesday. And that's why the weather ball right now is solid red. We've got warmer weather ahead. The view brought to you by West Michigan Ace Hardware Stores. Uh, take a look at this. Our chances for a white Christmas are, well, not good. Here's the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. And this is going to take us through Christmas. And, yeah, we're looking at above average air. So what's left on, on the ground right now in terms of snow is going to be melting quickly in the coming days. Temperatures right now, though, chilly, 25 in Grand Rapids, 31 in Holland. So southwest winds continue to moderate our temperatures. Remember yesterday at this time, uh, we were in the teens. That's not the case. 27 in Ionia, 26 in Kalamazoo. However, those south winds are warming us up. They're also producing these wind chill numbers. It feels like it's 13 in Grand Rapids. So the next uh, 48 hours or so, relatively tranquil conditions, visible satellite picture uh, with these clear skies. Look at the white in Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. That's snow cover. Uh, not much on the ground just north of Fort Wayne, but then as you enter West Michigan, you're seeing a little bit of snow cover. We're also seeing increasing cloud cover, uh, which is obscuring our view of the snowpack, but there's plenty of snow on the ground. And with those clear skies, we were uh, really treated to this view in Holland, Michigan, just a couple hours ago. I want to thank our friend Irma, who shared this with us via email of Big Red and an angry lake. Uh, waves right now between seven and eight feet. Those are beginning to ease, but notice the white caps uh, on the big lake. So the National Weather Service Climate Prediction Center just issued this, their 90 day temperature outlook. And take this with a grain of salt, but this is certainly a, an indication of what we can expect temperature-wise, below average air across the Great Lakes region, including West Michigan. So despite this very warm end of December, the Climate Prediction Center thinks we're going to see a kind of a cool conclusion to winter. And with cooler than average air and above average precipitation across the Great Lakes region, yeah, they think that we're going to see more than normal in terms of snow cover or snowfall anyways during this time frame, January 1st through March, at the end of March anyways, calling for cooler than average conditions and precipitation amounts should be on the high side. So the next 48 hours, not a lot to show you here either. Uh, partly cloudy conditions here this afternoon. Southerly winds will continue Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as high pressure builds. And I think high temperatures are back into the 40s here starting this weekend. Your 13 on target forecast. We haven't seen a dry stretch of weather like this eight, nine days consecutively without precipitation since 1963. That, that might be a slight exaggeration, but Bottom line, it's been a long time since we've seen this. Sunshine, we're in the 40s Saturday and Sunday. Great travel weather for the start of Hanukkah, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day, unusually warm with high temperatures in the 40s.